sexy welding people from YouTube. How you guys doing? I hope you guys having a good day. This is your homeboy, Captain Manny. You guys already know. And for those guys that don't know, this is Captain Manny's channel. I do my welding journey. I blog everything I'm doing, welding related. All right, whether it's getting a job, doing a test, practicing, you know, cruising around with my mama learning. You know, you know what I'm saying? Okay, so if you're new to this channel, somehow got to this channel, this is what we do over here. I start welding here and there, shops. Recently, I bought my classic 300 MP, trying to become a rewelder. But you guys already know everything went to crap this year. Last year went to crap because of COVID-19. And then this year, Joe Biden canceled all the oil field jobs. That's good. You know, I, I'm not going to sell my truck or my welding machine. You know, I'll just keep welding. And this is what this video is all about too. I took a test, a 6G test. That's right. Did I pass it? Stay tuned. Let's find out. All right, guys. So this is the super coupon test. That's right. Look at that. Ooh wee. So this is a test that I took. Okay. So you have to put it on a 45 degree angle like this. I obviously, you know, clean it up with wire wheel and then with the angle on there I clean it the inside. Alright. Then I I tack six and twelve. So for this test guys, the test was uh, 6010 root, 7018 all the way out. That's right. If you guys remember, when I started doing 1G, I, I said to you guys that here in Phoenix, you know, this is what they do, you know, 6010 root, 7018 all the way out. And this is what the test was, 6010 root, 7018 all the way out. So it went like this guys. 3 root and then 718 all the way out some other times for this test I have done tick root and 718 all the way out I have a video about that I'll put a link in the description right here for the same test it's a super coupon test but it's tick root 718 all the way out all right so I didn't have a time, obviously, because you know they were watching me. They were they watch when I put my tags, and then they want to see my route. Like if it went through, you know, if it went in. That's what she said. <laughs> All right. So once they look at it and they're like, "Yeah, it looks perfect, hundred percent." I love it the mother. I was like, "All right." say take it out boy that's what she said so took me like I, I went there like 12 30 all right and by the time I got set up and everything I started welding I got out at 3 so almost three hours to finish this bad boy right here you know cleaning it up prepping it tacking it put it in 45 like this all right and then finishing it up you know two hours and a half it's not bad three hours it's not bad either, four hours. I mean, heck, there's some people that took eight hours. El para qué cosa de quién? They has to pass a visual test. Okay, so after you you do all your cap all the way out, they want to see your cap, you know. Make sure it doesn't look. Make sure it passes a visual test, okay. That's one test right there that you had to pass. You had to pass the visual test. And then you have to pass x-ray. So what they do is they take it to... A private company they they shot x-ray on them make sure you don't have no porosity anything like that right so how did I did that test okay I tag 12 o'clock 6 o'clock and then put a like half inch tags I fed my tags I went my route from 12 to 6 boom downhill 
I took the other side from 12 to 6 again downhill as well and then 7018 obviously uphill 332 for the route I used 186010 temperature um, I think for the route I, I use um, 88 amps for 7018 I use 88 amps as well I didn't use the my machine my classic 300 I wish I had because you know you once you're used to welding with one machine you know everything's easier I had to use their machine which is a a miller oh no god no god please no 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 pi pro 400 um i never used this welding machine before and even if i had you know every welding machine is different even if it's the same model every single welding machine welds different uh it's not a big difference when it's like the same one but you can tell a difference all right so i didn't do any runs or anything like that i just clean my i clean my my coupon my super coupon i cleaned it prep it everything run good and so i tacked it and i went to town you guys want to know what happened captain nanny pass uh, other than that guys that's it we know we passed the test everything's perfect 100 percent all right so i guess i'll be welding 6010 7018 pipe for i don't know how long you know uh hopefully can find something else better down the road but until then you know i'll be welding pipe in the shop should be fun you know it's been a while since i took a test like this probably a year probably more i don't know i have to check when was the last time i took a test okay but uh i'm glad that i passed the test you know i've been welding but it's not the same thing you know taking a test and working for a company all right but um other than that guys just don't forget to follow me my social media right here you know instagram facebook twitter all that and just remember to stay safe stay home if you can and i'll see you next video right ciao